Welcome back to Zeta Moon Attempts Gaming. I have gotten some coffee <coughs> and a lozenge for my throat here, so we are ready to go. We're going to pick right back up where we left off, which was totally letting him just sleep in a bit. So we're going to go ahead and wake him up. Can I come out of bed like that? Can, can I, like, totally just, yeah, can I just totally do backflips out of my bed? That would be awesome. Okay, anyway. Hello. Or not. Oh, thank goodness you've awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty the King. <laughs> thank you for that useless information. Hello! Oh, Link, you're awake. You feeling alright? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. Are you by your side? Alright. It is as you have all heard me. A sorcerer named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. And I was out long enough that you were able to take the stone statue into the temple. Duh, it's not a temple. What is this? Castle. Throne room. Throne room. That's what we're looking for. If we had the sacred Picori blade, we likely could have broken the curse. I very rarely doubt that would have done anything compared that one little lightning ball took it out. But Vati shattered the blade. Said, so it's useless. However, I have not given up hope. What do you think about the Picori? Uh, what? The Picori? Not much beyond what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very teeny, if I'm remembering correctly. I mean, it was just a small memory anyway. Yes, the ones from the fairy tales. But the Picori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. Cory, who forged the sacred blade, lived deep within Minish Woods. He should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. Uh, how small are we talking? Because, again, I'm going to point out, if the sword is our size, how many does it take to fix it? What? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once! No soldiers will not do. The Cory do not show themselves to anyone but children. So they're like fairies. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. And the entire room goes quiet and stares at Link. I see. If that's the case, then why not send Link, who just woke up from a head concussion? Oh, oh if Link has recovered, then yes, I'd like to ask this of him. That was like a subtle, hey, hi, how you doing? Please turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Cory should know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey. That those monsters have been freed. Please take this sword. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this with you, along with the broken blade. I have accepted the broken blade. This is the part of the sword needed to reforge the sacred sword. Don't lose it. But if the blade is shattered, then pretty much what I'm holding is in a sword in the hilt. And da 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 da! I've got the smith sword that was going to be given to Vati, but he done fucked up. A sharp blade made by your grandfather. Very well then. Send the soldiers to search for Vati at once. <laughs> Those soldiers would be like, nope. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deep Wood Shrine. Just follow the signs. Once, humans of Picori shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you, because you know, you get lost easy. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Start and then R we open the map. I've marked the location of the forest for you, you dumbass. Good luck and be careful. Da -da -da -da! I've got a map. Now I'll never get lost. You evidently have not seen me play games. Ask my brother. Which has a YouTube channel. Blitz. Something. I forgot. Wow. He's gonna kill me. Sorry, bro! Just just ask him though. <coughs> Moving past that. I always Always gotten lost. Da -da -da -da. Hey! I got a check mark, not a plus. Or an X. Or a you are here, stupid. I'm counting on you, Link. Why is it when people talk, do they have to, like, wiggle in place? Boing, 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 boing. I don't know. Only you can break Vati's curse and free Princess Zelda. 
Pictures of cows? by the way they can't swim or is it like in this game nobody can swim and water is like deadly to everybody only select few the Zora help oh look there's a volume no okay, good. I'm probably gonna need bombs for that oh that was that was smart I'm like oh gee what is that Whoops! No, I didn't hit that. That was not my fault. Shh, okay, Can I have an ocarina? 
scene in a play and tap my foot and little woodland creatures can come around and, you know, make all these faces. That'd be great. Okay. That way, so this way. Anybody hear me? Nope, I can't hear you. Sorry. Da 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 da. I got a piece of heart. Collect four to make a new heart container for even more life energy. Which, with how bad I am at these games, is a good idea. Can't I just like walk on top of the log? It's not a very tall log. to go save duck hats life here. Oh, look at this! Hey! Hey, kid! You there! Ow! Hey, don't just stand there! Do something! Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! Him again. Uh, go attack him. Uh, yeah, look, look, there I am. Really? Uh, phew. Well done, that was close. Not that I could handle it myself. Oh shit. But that's beside the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Oh, I see. The freak was that pose? The you say? And Vati? Vati's cursed someone? What? Sacred Blade? Is that so? I see, I see. I have a citizen court. How is he doing with this? You know, you and I have quite a lot of common. What, that we both use green and yellow in our color palette? You see, I too am on a quest to break a curse of Vati's. And you say that reforging the Sacred Blade can break his curse, eh? Well then, you found yourself a companion, my boy! Hey, listen! My name is... Ezlo. Ezlo. Ezlio? Enzo! <laughs> Ezlo, I guess. <clears throat> it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. That's kind of freaky. Wait, wait, I say. You walk so quickly, too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed that I have no legs! Hey! Boy, take a good look at me! Do you really think I can walk that fast? Just jump on my fucking head, I know you're gonna do it. Anyway. If it isn't one thing, it's another! You are a troublesome boy! Then walk off! Oh! There! Now you can't possibly leave me behind! look rather smug. My, it's, uh, quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See, there. Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. I'm a fucking hat. Now I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. Like talking hats with duck faces that take over your brain. If you need my hindsight, press the select to help. <coughs> ah, such a hopeless child. And suddenly, there's no mouth or anything. You just... There you go. Hey! Hold on for a moment, my boy. We stumbled across something important. Did you hear the doodle -do 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 noise? The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Yeah? We're the Minish? Ah, oh, yeah. Silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Ikori. They refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. 
Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a teeny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'd have to make you a touch smaller first. But that, at first glance, appears to be a mere stump, yes? No, that stump's a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. Okay. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to diminished size. You stand on the stump and press the R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press it again, dumbass. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. Whoa, now it does the glowy stuff. And a letter. Oh, please, please. Poor baby. He's like, thank you for smacking my head. Through the eyes of a minish. Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press your R, you dumbass. But there's one thing you must know being minish size is full of dangers. Your puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to the minish, aka you can't swim even more so. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me, too. So, proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Oh, come on! I was right near there. I like to get out the game. I thought this was really cute. All this stuff. These little acorns and leaves and stuff. I thought it was very well done. Back then, I thought the graphics were well done for a GBA game. And again, I always kind of like the Zelda pixels. I mean, yeah, nothing wrong with good graphics, but nostalgia? Kind of paints everything in a pixelated love? Well, don't they have a lot of four leaf clovers? Hello? Anybody Ooh. home? Village. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. Oh. Uh. Hi! Hello! Oh, good lord, they sound like Nabby. Hello! Pico, Picori! Oh, jeez! Rippy, Rippacor... Oh, forget this. Hello! I'm not meeting this! Go away! I gather it's been quite some time since I last saw a human. What's that? Understand what they were saying just now? Ah, yes, that was the language of the Minish, Dumbass. It's a little different from the dialect I'm most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they were saying myself. But perhaps there's someone here who understands your language. We should look around. Find out. Go right to the temples. started speaking English to him, and in no way has he responded back that he didn't understand. You could use a jabber note. It will allow you to understand our tongue. How convenient. You should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here, which was currently blocked by my decori, but in the length of time that it takes us to do this, he will be unblocked. Are saying, okay. 
you ate the jabber nut. Now you can understand the language of the minish. Yeah. Did I give some to the hat too? Hey, we're gonna test this out. Hi. Howl! Oh, so you've eaten the jabber nut. Now you can understand us. The elder said that humans can no longer see us as they once could. It's amazing that you can see us. Because I'm a child, and childlike innocence is like the catch-all. Hi! Hey! You've heard of travelers who find a king's stone and get really lucky? That's all thanks to items made by us Minish. You see, we thrive on making humans happy and gives us energy. But we only do it in secret. Not very fucking helpful. There he is. Hi! Hi! Uh oh! You speak our language. It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Ezlo. This child is Link. Why are we facing away from the guy we're talking to? We need to break a curse that's been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we need to reinforce the broken Pikuri blade. Oh, yes, you come here now hoping to have the blade reforged? Well, if that's what you're after, you'll need four mystic elements, because why the fuck not? Why is it not three? The other game's just three. These elements are the crystalline forms of the energies of this world. Using a blade with these energies, can a new blade be forged? Here, give me your map, and I can mark you where these elements can be found. Here, 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 and here. With these handy stickers I had, the earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of Fistari's Abbey. Speak with Fistari, and he'll show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Because his mass is probably standing right in front of it. Go with caution, the evil creatures have lately made the whole new shrine. To me once after no oh, return to me at once after you have found the earth element. Got it. Hi, <laughs> move your ass. I need the door behind you. Oh, you wish to go to the shrine. Very well, this way. Hello! You know, I need to get that as like a sound bite button. I just randomly push it while we do things. Vile beasts have settled in the restaurant. Recently, be careful, it's quite dangerous. So I'll take this. No, don't take this. I'm just gonna send me on my way. Okay! Gee, I wonder if this is the shrine. We are in now a Deepwood Shrine. So this would be the Deepwood Shrine the Minimish Elder spoke of. He said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Hey, hey now, no reason to be afraid or anything. I I'll be waiting right here. No, no, wait, what am I saying? I'm, I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. I'm just gonna sit on your ass and ass on your head the entire time. Da 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 da! You got a heart! These are blenish your life energy a little bit. Yeah, don't mess. Okay, so with that said, we got a temple to explore. We'll finally get to our first shrine, temple, dungeon. Ooh! Boing. Boing, 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 boing. Okay, I'll stop that. So we have our very first shrine dungeon! Which I'm actually gonna do in the next episode. Sorry! So we've had two episodes of absolutely nothing. Join us again soon for Zed and Moon Attempts Gaming, and we'll see how fast I can get through the intro, teach you everything, temple, shrine, dungeon. See you guys then! Bye!